Thank you for joining me for another episode of the Bring Back Soul Music Podcast. My special, special, special guest today is a young lady from Shreveport, Louisiana. Her name is Mariah. Miss Mariah, how are you doing today? I am doing so well. How are you doing today? I'm great. I'm great. Welcome to the Bring Back Soul Music Podcast. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. I received your, uh, your new song, which yes. is called uh, Material Girl. Yes, sir. Um, and I love it, by the way. Um, we're going to talk about that in just a minute. But for those who don't know Mariah, uh, tell us about Mariah. Of course. Well, I am a God-fearing young lady from Shreveport, Louisiana. I also serve as a NICU nurse in my local community. And for those that don't know what an NICU nurse is, that's neonatal intensive care. So I deal with the premature babies. I'm talking 23, 24 weeks gestation, all the way up to the chronic unstable, stable patients. Um, so that's something that's near and dear uh, to my heart, taking care of God's children here locally. Um, I've been serving in my church uh, that is Pleasant Hill Baptist Church in Shreveport, Louisiana, um, and have been having a blast doing it. I'm also <laughs> a member of Zeta, Phi Theta Sorority Incorporated. You know, we got our founders, they come in January 16th, so shout out to my sorors, and I love participating and doing everything in regards to Zeta. Right, fantastic. Um, I got to tell you, my dad is from Shreveport, Louisiana, too. Come on, uh, somebody. Yeah, 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 Shreveport, Louisiana. Um, now, um, this, is this your first release material girl? Yes, this is my first release and I am so proud of her. <laughs> okay. Um, let me back up just a little bit. Now I read in your, um, your bio that, um, your mom was your vocal coach. Yes. And did your mom, is. did your mom have a background in music? Was she in the music business as well? Or? Yes, sir. My mother deals heavily in the genre of gospel. Um, she is a singer. She is a songwriter. She is also a minister of music at Pleasant Hill Baptist Church. Um, and so she has drilled in me ever since she knew that I wanted to sing. And that's two, three years old. She's been teaching me tone, residence, music theory, um, different artistry, um, not to subjugate yourself into one box. She has taught me everything. And I am so grateful for her. All right. Um, now, do you have siblings who are in the business too, or it's just you? No, I don't. It's just me. My brother is a football addict. So, you know, I'm the music buff at the family. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. All right. And um, so you knew early on that you wanted to sing. Um, how did you, how did you get your start? How did you come to the attention of the powers that be that makes decisions like that? Well, I just kept pressing towards the mark. A lot of things that I do is uh, Zeta oriented. So right around this time, around our Founders Day, um, I usually write different types of ballads um, for my sorority. I also do a lot of strolling. For those that don't know what strolling is, it's basically like very hype dance videos um, that's dedicated to our sororities or fraternities. Um, and so Mr. Jeff Robertson, who's also a fraternity brother, he's a member of Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated, ended up seeing one of my videos that it went viral via Facebook. Um, and we ended up talking. He sent my information over to the producer of the song Material Girl, Mr. Edwin Tony Nicholas. And and the rest was history. I know that all of that was nothing but God, God ordained and in his timing. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Well, fantastic. Um, now let's get back to uh, Material Girl. Um, how did that song come about? Well, so God has given me the opportunity to be able to write um, with shared and lived experiences. So everything that I write is something that I've experienced. And hopefully uh, my story will help others that's probably going through the same thing that I've gone through in the present time. Um, Material Girl is written in the perspective of a young lady who's at a crossroads. Is she going to allow material possessions to be the placeholder of a relationship? Or is she going to understand the things that money can't buy should be the forefront of the relationship? Things like time, love, attention, appreciation. These are the things that money can't buy. Uh, you can't go to a store and swipe and say, buy me time. You can't go to a store and say, buy me love and affection. And once I realized who I was and the young lady that I was becoming, I realized the things that I needed for a good, 
longevity type of relationship. Okay, great. Um, when I first saw the title, I mean, I'm from a different era. So I thought Madonna's Madonna. material girl. <laughs> And then I was like, oh, okay, another one of those. But then when I listened to the song, I was like, oh, this is this is a complete 180 because she was sort of celebrating being a material girl. Yes. Uh, and you're doing just the opposite. So um, yeah, that's that's a great message. It was kind of surprising when I saw the title. We'll continue our episode after this message. Are you looking for a reliable way to transfer money to family and friends? Check out the Cash App. It's safe, easy, and convenient. Just download the app from the Apple or Google Play Store and start receiving and sending money in a few minutes. Sign up today and receive $5. And don't forget to use our referral code. VGRC WQX. Swag at shop.bringbacksoulmusic.com. Hey, I'm Kenny Lattimore, and you're checking out the Bring Back Soul Music Podcast with my brother Todd Woods. Now back to our conversation um okay so it was just released from what i understand yes, or how long sir. has it been out well it's been out a couple months so okay. we're talking october the first okay and how's it been received by your your fans and your um the general public oh my goodness um the amount of overwhelming love and support about the overall message of Material Girl has been astounding. I just got word that I am on USA's Today Top 40 on the R&B list. Congratulations. Uh, number, thank you, number five in the UK, number five in Urban Influencer Chart. So it's doing very, very well. And I'm just thankful that people are able to understand and dissect the message of the song, first and foremost. Yeah, absolutely. Now, uh, this is your first single. Is there... Um more singles or an EP or an album to follow? There is more. All I'm going to tell you is that the best is yet to come. And if you follow me on my social media at my name is Mariah, you will be abreast on everything that is happening in the world of Mariah and what's going to be coming down the tailpipe very shortly. Okay. And does that, does that also include perhaps maybe um, tour dates as well or? Yes, sir. All, right. All of the things in the like. Yes. Okay. Um, what do you uh, what do you hope people get out of your music? What's what kind of message do you want to send um, with your music? Well, I want my music to be able to tell a story. I want people that listen to it can maybe um, glean from information that they probably needed along their journey. Um, and I just want them to be able to feel good and something to register with all age types. You know, I don't want to be the type of singer that just subjugates myself to the 18 to 25 year population. I want children all the way to the rich in age to be able to understand and be able to dissect my music. So I want people to see that I'm a down to earth, that I am just another regular girl who God just gave me the gift of song. Fantastic. And um, I also read in your bio that you've also partnered, up, partnered with uh, St. Jude Medical Center. Tell us about yes. what you got going on with them. Well, with St. Jude Medical Center, we've been um, gearing up a whole lot of things with them in regards to fundraising for them, uh, for the race, for the cure. You know, children are near and dear to my heart. So I knew that there was an opportunity that I could just, I could never miss. And so I'm just very thankful that St. Jude gave me the opportunity to represent them in that regard. Hey, fantastic. Um, Mariah, I know that we don't have a lot of time. I know you've probably been doing interviews all day. Um, <laughs> Anything else you want to add? I know we kind of went through that really quickly, um, but I was trying to hit the hit all the points that I that I had uh, questions about. But anything else you want to add before we close this interview out? Yes, if you want to follow along on the journey, again, my Instagram is my name is Mariah, as well as my TikTok and my Snapchat. And if you want to follow along on Facebook, that is Mariah Hester, as well as my YouTube. Click those links and subscribe, butterflies. Okay. Quick question before you before we wrap up. What college did you go to? I went to Northwestern State University, College of Nursing, and School of Allied Health. Shout out to my demon family. Okay, fantastic. All right. Well, Miss Mariah, I'm glad you took the time to stop by today. We appreciate you coming through. Uh, good luck with everything. And so um, quickly, where can people pick up Material Girl? Material Girl is actually available on all digital outlets. So uh, Apple Music, uh, Amazon Music, Spotify, 
all of the outlets that you have at your fingertips, Material Girl is there. All right. And Mariah, uh, again, good luck with Material Girl and good luck in 2022. Thank you so much. You as well. All right. And that's Mariah on the Bring Back Soul Music podcast. And we'll be right back. Calling all lovers of soul music. The time to make soul music relevant again is now. You've been listening to the Bring Back Soul Music podcast with Todd Woodson. If you enjoyed today's show, be sure to tell a friend. Make sure you never miss an episode by subscribing to our newsletter at bringbacksoulmusic.com. Well, that's our show for today. I'd like to thank my special guest, Mariah. You can find out more about Mariah on her social media sites, which we have linked in the show notes on this video. Don't forget, you can listen to the Bring Back Soul Music Podcast on iTunes, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, Spotify, and Pandora. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Bring Back Soul Music TV. If you have any questions or comments, please email us at comments at bringbacksoulmusic.com. And also, if you want to support this channel, buy me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com forward slash that soul guy. I'm Todd Woodson. Thank you for joining us. See you next week.